Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick demo to show off how to create threads, how to start them, how to join them. Um, sort of thread is the uh, fundamental building block of parallelism in Java. It's uh, been around since day one. And we're going to um, use our example, we're going to calculate uh, the hypotenuse for our uh, for a classic 3, 4, 5 triangle. Um, we're going to create one of these simple thread factories, pass in 3 and 4 into the hypotenuse along with the thread factory, and then we're going to try to compute uh, our, our friend 5. Um, if we tunnel into thread factory, you can see it's an interface, it's part of Java Util Concurrent, and it has one method on it, you know, create a new thread. Um, so let's uh, build this. The idea, the fundamental idea of what we're going to try to do is we're going to make, um, uh, you know, everyone should be familiar with creating a couple of uh, slots in an array uh, for our computation. Imagine I can create an array of uh, squares, uh, that's uh, length two, excuse me. Um, you can see me saying uh, square sub zero equals a times a, uh, squares sub one is b times b, and we're going to return the square root of those two. Square root of uh, a squared plus b squared. Okay, let's try this out and see if that does indeed compute 5, so like the world it still makes sense. What we want to do now is we want to make, um, we're going to do this in parallel with the with sort of the core thread. So first thing I'm going to do is make a new thread. And this would be sort of the a squared thread. And I could create a thread directly. Um, we've put in, we've, st we've used this uh, uh, thread factory to give us a little bit of indirection in sort of a standard way. So I'm going to get the thread factory to create a new thread for me. Um, it's asking for a rentable, and so uh, I can uh, fill that in with a nice lambda because rentable has one and only one abstract method. It's called thread. If I do this, Right, um, we can create this a squared thread. If I run this, it's going to return four and not five because it's going to be perfectly happy to calculate this guy. But um, square sub zero doesn't finish before um, before this calculation down here. You could think, well, let's add in uh, threads uh, version of finish, which is oh, sorry, a squared thread join down here. You're like, okay, let's finish that guy up. That still doesn't get it done because threads, unlike async, uh, don't start automatically. So I actually have to tell the a squared thread to start. If I do this, everybody's happy. If I somehow, um, it's important to make sure you get your continuation work or if you start other threads, if you make a whole bunch, get them going before you call join because the last thing you want to do is sort of, uh, let's say we didn't use this, we put down down here um, b times b, right? Say we just calculated one of the values up here and then we're like, all right, now that we've started it and joined it, we do this, it'll compute the right value, but of course it's starting and joining, sort of finishing this thread before this guy goes, so we're not getting any parallels at all. Um, so let's go ahead and put it back to our original version. Right there that we're happy with. 